college decisions are out for the most part. Seniors have been receiving acceptance letters over the past few weeks. It's a chaotic process, not only for students, but schools and sometimes more than usual. That's the case at the University of Kentucky this year, which accepted hundreds of thousands more students than it planned to. Claire Kopsky explains in this LEX 18 investigates. Georgia High School senior Erin Esping's top college choice like, I love this out. is taking her across the pond. But I wanted to like go somewhere else um, for a change. She's headed to the University of Edinburgh to study history and politics. Gabriel Botello has stars in his eyes with his acceptance to the University of Southern California's film program. That's my dream school. Texas high school senior Mary Doherty imagines herself as a writer. Whether it's entertainment or like news, like SNL to like, like the regular news. Next fall, she's headed to the University of Texas at Austin to study radio, TV and film. Any like live television, that's like my dream. All different schools and different majors, but there's one thing these seniors all have in common. They were all accepted to the University of Kentucky's College of Health Sciences Clinical Leadership and Management Program, one which the university describes as selective, admitting only 35 to 40 students every year. The catch? None of these students ever applied to the University of Kentucky. It was just really like strange, really odd. And according to the university, neither did nearly 500,000 other students who received this same acceptance email on March 15th. I, I had to Google it up just to make sure it was a real college because I was like, I've heard of them, but I'm not so sure. I had never been on the website. I've never been to Kentucky, let alone University of Kentucky. The University of Kentucky said it had a technical issue that sent the hundreds of thousands of emails in air. The school tells us that it regrets this happened, saying the mishap was through its customer relationship tool, which sends out information to current and prospective students or those the university is recruiting. The school caught its mistake and sent out an apology within 24 hours. The university also said only a handful of the students who received the email were accepted to the school. Quote, the vast majority had not, nor had the vast majority of these students expressed an interest in the program. End quote. I want to be a film major, um, so obviously getting an email about getting into like a health and science college was a bit, you know, weird. The students told me they were fearful they had accidentally applied and were taking someone else's spot. But I really did feel like I got someone's letter or they accidentally mixed up my email with like a promo email list or something. I'd be heartbroken. That'd be one of the most stressful things that has ever happened to me. But Kentucky says the students who should have been admitted to the program were correctly admitted and it will do whatever is required to address the issue. So now it was, you know, a bit harmless, but next time it could be something that actually has like a bigger effect. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News. UK officials say it appears emails were generated through the university's customer relationship management tool. Officials say that a student who received an email may have indicated they were interested in UK at some point or may have sent in an application and that's how the university had their contact information. Officials say they want to ensure students private information is secure and say errors like this quote are very infrequent, not only at UK, but also at other institutions.